Once you have finished creating your metal tooling um, designs, um, you should look at it again and make sure everything is as three-dimensional as you would like, uh, working both from the front and the back. Uh, make sure that your patterns are distinct and clear. Um, you should have five patterns. If any of your patterns are too similar, uh, maybe add some more details to make sure that they are separate. Um, but once you are finished, um, it's then time to add some color. Now the first thing I like to do before um, adding the bright colors is actually adding some black. Uh, and we're gonna, I'm going to add some black paint in order to um, make it look a little bit aged. It gives it a little bit of an aged look and it also brings more contrast to all of those grooved areas um, to help it distinguish it from the higher up uh, areas. Um, so there will be little containers like this of black paint. Um, this is tempera paint, which means it is somewhat washable. Um, and we're going to use little brushes. And a little bit of paint goes a long way, just a little bit of paint on your brush. And when you place it on your design, um, you're just going to work in small sections at a time. Okay, so I'm going to spread this around. Sometimes it's hard to get into the, the grooved areas. You can kind of tap your brush. Notice how I'm spreading it out. Okay, a small area at a time. Um, now I don't want to leave it like that because you can't see all the details. I then take a piece of paper towel, um, not scrunched up, but a flat piece of paper towel, and I'm going to wipe. And you can see that it'll wipe from the surface. Um, so as soon as one area of the paper towel gets dirty, I go to another area. And I keep doing this over and over again. Now, depending on how hard or soft I press, more or less of the black paint will get removed. You can see how um, it comes off of the surface and it stays in the um, like the lines that I had pressed in. Um, if I press too hard, maybe more than what I want comes out. If that's the case, I can always go back and just add more in certain spots. And I keep going. And then you can see how um, you can really all of a sudden have those details pop out. Okay. Now let's say you've got paint someplace and by the time you got to rub it off, it had dried. Um, so the paint dried and it's just not rubbing off anymore the way you want it to. If you take a damp paper towel, not soaking wet, but just a little bit of water on a paper towel and rub it, then then do it. Um, even if the paint has dried, it will still take some of it off. So if you have a damp paper towel, um, sometimes this even just cleans up as like a last, like right at the end. Um, again, as soon as that part gets dirty, go to a clean part. That can, the damp, a little bit of water can take anything that had dried off. Once the paint has dried, then you can add some color. Uh, so the kind of um, color we're gonna use is Sharpies. Um, the thing about the paint is that it gets into those areas really nicely, but it does take away the shine. If I were to paint this A with, um, then it would cover up that reflectiveness of the um, metal. Uh, Sharpie doesn't do that. Sharpie lets that show through. So um, as you're adding uh, any designs, the thing about the Sharpie is it will work similar to your pencil. If you press too hard, it will create grooves. 
So you have to press very lightly. You don't wanna mess up all that work you did making these three dimensional. Uh, and you also just wanna be nice and slow and careful about filling in your design. Now avoid the black. Uh, I don't wanna pick up any of the black paint onto my marker. And you're just going to continue the pattern. So I've been continuing to add the Sharpie. Um, I did not finish, uh, but you can see how the Sharpie still lets it shine through. Uh, it does not take away from the reflectiveness um, of the, the design. Now, it is your choice as you decorate. Do you want to only use Sharpie? Some of you might not look like the look of the aged black paint. That's okay. Um, I like it. I think it gives it a nice outline really quickly. Uh, and it does give it sort of an older um, look to it, like as if the metal has been like, aged or worn um, for a bit. Um, however, some of you might not like that. So in that case, you can use just the Sharpie if you'd like. Um, remember though, as you're doing it nice and light so you don't mess up that 3D quality. Some of you might choose the opposite. Some of you might just like the black. Maybe you want the whole thing to look aged. Um, without the color, maybe you don't want any color, that's okay too. So if you choose to just use the black, that's up to you. Um, but as you go, um, you can decide, um, do you want certain color schemes? Do you want certain colors in certain areas? Um, do you want to repeat color schemes? Um, that's really your choice. Um, as you work, if you aren't sure how the color will look on the metal, because some of them um, don't show up as well. You can always test it on the back uh, to sort of see what it looks like before you commit to the front.